Hello everyone. So today we are going to start a new series on Laravel REST APIs. So in this series, we will learn how we can create REST APIs for any of the application like Android application or for a iOS application or for a native application uh, using React or Flutter. So we will learn how we can uh, create and how we can use these API to communicate with the server like how an application can communicate with the server or with the database and uh, later in this series we will uh, use these all these APIs in a real world project uh, and which we will create using react js so let me show you uh, which apis are we will create and will use in our project so first of all we will create api to register a user using email and with and also we will learn how we can verify the email after that we can create the api to login and then to reset the password after that we will create an api to change the password and then update of file and after that we'll create the api to log out user and and when we will create all the apis then we will implement all these apis in a real react project so let's start the process so first of all we need to create a fresh laravel project so let's go to the laravel documentation and we will use the latest version of laravel which is laravel version 8 so go on the installation so first of all if you haven't installed laravel you need to install it first so you can install install laravel using the command via composer composer create project and but i will use the laravel new as i have installed laravel as a global so let's just start it and we will name it to lara rest So just wait for it to complete okay so we also need a tool to check all the, all the APIs so we will use postman to run and check all the APIs so just go and download it and get it installed in your system So we can download it. Download it for the um, my Windows is sixty four bit, so I'll download it from here. Okay, so our Laravel installation is complete and also our Postman setup is downloaded. So let's just install it first. Till then, we will start the server. Let's cd into Lara REST. Okay. 
and start the server using php artisan serve ok server development server is started so let's connect it 8000 as you can see our fresh laravel installation is there and now we also need to install some more packages for API authentication uh, we will use sanctum laravel sanctum okay so go here packages and can use laravel sanctum for simple API authentication so just copy the command paste it here okay, so our installation is complete and I think skip ok so here is our first look for postman so we will use it later when we start creating the APIs and after that we need to publish the services vendor let's just wait for it to install okay now let's compile and now after that we can okay, let's create a database okay, i think i need to start the server first Let's create a new database. Rest and let's open it. You can use any editor. I will use Sublime Text and let's change the. Okay, it's already the test now one more thing we need to do is and in the migrations and in the users migration we can add an extra field with profile picture and we will learn how we can upload a profile and it should be enable by default and now let's just complete the installation to that we need to run the migrations so this is migrate okay now after that we have published the migration no need to do anything okay now in our user model we need to use this as a pay token so go on the app models user so need to use as a pay token and after that yeah okay now we are all set up set up to create our first rest api and first of all we will create api to register a user and then we'll create all other APIs so yeah now we can create our first API and uh, one more thing uh, we will also use the validation laravel validations to validate all the APIs so no one can and put any wrong data in the APIs 
okay so in the next video we'll create the sign up api so just hit like button and subscribe to my youtube channel